Thank you very much, dear Chair, dear colleagues. Despite the initial skepticism of some eurosceptical governments, the Conference on the Future of Europe turned out to be a success, empowering participative democracy at its utmost and putting long-sided proposals on the table. Now it is time to move forward to achieve citizens' goals and hopes, turning them into concrete actions. And there is only one way to do so. We must open a new convention for discussing the much-needed deep revision of the treaties towards a federal Europe. And as this will be a clear divide in the history of the European integration, there would be no better place than Ventotene Island where everything began to do so. We are in front of a crossroads. We can move towards a genuine political union, a strategically autonomous union, moving to qualified majority and thus growing into a real player at the global stage, or we can remain divided, becoming the chessboard where other actors play their geopolitical games as it's happening tremendously with the criminal aggression of Ukraine. Only a new treaty of Ventotene can allow us to pursue the first option. And if the main road is the convention, we must also be prepared to cope with certain national reluctances or blockages, thus foreseeing backup solutions, including the possibility to set up new forms of reinforced cooperations. Let's finally uh, sit around the negotiation table. There will be an understand who, who wants to be on the right side of history and who does not. We stand for a Treaty of Ventotene, for a free, democratic, sovereign and federal Europe. Thank you. Thank you.